welcome to the video. Obviously, you guys see it's not the usual half food we'll eat video. And, you know, that's because I've, it's honestly hard to find words. And if you've, I mean, unless you've been living under a, a damn rock, um, you've probably heard that NBA legend Kobe Bryant uh, and his oldest daughter Gianna, along with um, seven other people, were killed in a tra—I mean, tragic, to put it lightly—helicopter uh, crash uh, this Sunday. And um, I won't go into the full details of what happened, but I mean, you can read that for yourself. Um, But uh, uh, my understanding is that Kobe and his daughter, along with the seven other passengers on board, were headed to uh, Kobe's Mamba Academy, which is where he coaches and you know teaches kids how to play basketball. So they were headed there. The pilot was trying to fly through pretty uh, foggy conditions in uh, L.A. that day, and you know obviously. He ended up crashing. Um, so when I heard the news, man, I was, I mean, I still am speechless. I have no words. I'm still waiting, you know, for this to be the most epic hoax of all time. Um, you know, I, I don't think anything can really uh, prepare, uh, you know, us for such news like this, you know, NBA superstar, hero, inspiration to millions of fans around the world, um, suddenly dying when literally a few hours before he was in communication with uh, former teammates, you know, LeBron James and, you know, that just goes to show you, man, like life is too damn short. And, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, you know, how much money you have, how much status you have, how famous you are, you know, like death is unfortunately going to get us all one day. And that's the sad truth of it, man. Um, and it's a hard realization. And, you know, growing up, um, a lot of you guys may not know this. I've, I've never talked about this before, but I've talked about, you know, being overweight and chubby and, and getting bullied and everything in my past videos. Um, but I grew up playing in a lot of basketball kind of after school, uh, you know, kind of extracurricular leagues as, you know, little kids do. And, you know, even though I was a little chubster, man, you know, I, you know, I try to model my game uh, after Kobe's, you know. Um, I try to be slick with the ball handling skills. I try to, take it to the hoop, you know, I try to bust out those fancy moves and, um, you know, it's just, um, it's just, uh, it's just tough to see and to realize that someone you looked up to and had, you know, a, a big, you know, impact on your childhood not being there anymore and and like i said it just doesn't feel real um yeah i still don't i mean i still don't know what to say but i mean it's taken me several days after learning the news to even comment on it because I, like i said i i don't know what to say right now but you know, no matter like what kind of BS you got going on in your life, man, drop it. All right. Any kind of beef you have with anyone, drop it. All right. You know, I don't care how big or how small, you know, if you're fighting with someone, if you're stressed out, let that go, dude. Because uh, it's not worth it. Because like I said, you don't know what could happen to you tomorrow, right? 
just try to take every day in stride. Try to freaking grab every day by the balls, so to speak. You know what I mean? It's cliche, but you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen 15 minutes from now. You know what I mean? I could start my car, drive home, get into a terrible wreck, and freaking die. You know, you don't know what happens. If it's your time, you know, it's your time. Um, and apparently Kobe, he'd been flying this helicopter to and from, you know, various places for years and years. And nothing's ever happened, right? And so even the most routine day, I mean, man, that could be your last. I mean, just that realization is, is, is that's tough. So freaking love hard, guys. Love, love, love. Give it your all, no matter what you're doing. You know, people, you know, people said Kobe had that killer instinct. He had that, you know, he had the Mamba mentality. What did that mean? You know, like on the court, he was a freaking savage, man. He would, he was relentless. He wasn't afraid of anyone, man. He would freaking attack the hoop. You know, he took control of games. Whenever the freaking game was on the line, he wanted the freaking ball. He wanted the damn ball. He took charge, right? So have that same mentality in your life, man, that Kobe had on the court that he used to inspire millions of people and even off the court too. I mean, yeah, he had, you know, some personal issues and, you know, earlier on in his career, but you know, how much of that was tabloid, how much of that was truth. Um, but I think, you know, after he, after that scandal, you know, let's just say everyone makes mistakes. All right. Everyone makes damn mistakes and he overcame professionally, personally, strived to be better, to be, be a better father, be a better family man, be a better player after that. And it's not what gets you down. It's how you pick yourself up. And I think he really used that unfortunate event in his life to um, show that no matter what, you can come back from anything. You can improve. You can be a better person, you know. So, you know, instead of, you know, making posts about Kobe being the GOAT, even though he is one of the greatest basketball players, athletes of our generation of all time, you know, why don't we go forward and try to have that Mamba mentality so people don't forget what he did on and off the court as a player and as a person. So love hard, work hard. I mean, you know, there are stories about Kobe getting up at 4 a.m. to go work out in the gym before the team's structured workouts. And if that's not determination, man, I don't know what is, right? So take example from him, okay? I think that's probably how he would want to be remembered. Um, not as just a good basketball player, a great basketball player, but as someone who used his talents to inspire people to be better, you know? So... Man, I love you, Kobe. I'm going to miss you. But let's all go out there, man. Love hard. Work hard. Live every day as if you don't know what's going to happen in the next two minutes, man. Because it's scary, you know? And it really drives home the fact that not even great people who we look up to are immune from death. No one is immune from death. So while we still have our lives, take charge of it. Enjoy it. Be an inspiration to other people like Kobe Bryant was to millions of other people. Um, drop the hate. If you want to do something that you've always dreamed about doing and you've put it off, stop putting it off. Because you don't know how much time you got left, you know what I mean? Um, 
my heart goes out to obviously Kobe's wife, um, his three other daughters, the families of uh, the seven other people involved in in this tragic crash. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just uh, it's been a tough three days, but. Let's try to remember Kobe for what he did on the court, which was obviously, you know, put smiles and, you know, th thrill millions of people over his 20 year career. And let's not forget, uh, you know, just how much of a freaking, you know, I, I don't know, it, it, like it was just, a sight to behold watching him play and uh you know but like more than that you know let's remember kobe for you know inspiring people off the court as well um by doing what he did and and being an example and and doing his best to um show that no matter what happens to you, no matter what mistakes you've made, you can come back from that and you can love harder. You can be a better husband. You can be a better friend. You can be a better father. You can be a better brother. Um, it just really sucks that it takes someone's passing to make you look long and hard at your own goals and what you want out of life. So sit down, take a long, hard look at yourself, ask yourself what you, what do you want out of life, man? Whatever that is, go after it before it's too late. Love yourself, love the people around you, don't hate, please. Drop all the petty BS in your life. Drop all the stress. Live it up. Enjoy it, please. Once again, my thoughts and my prayers go out to Kobe's family and all those affected by this tragedy, guys. Um, you know, love you guys. And uh, hope you guys have a good night. And... Hopefully the rest of 2020 will be better. All right. Um, yeah. Till next time. See ya.